Okay, now that we have the face on, the playing card, we're going to fix it up so it looks like the face is part of the playing card instead of just glued on. So I'm going to lower the opacity so I can see both of them. I'm going to worry about getting the size right. You know, I usually start off by lining up the eyes and the mouth. You can see Harry Potter's face is a bit too big. Make it a little smaller. It's okay if it's a little larger. A couple things you want to look at. You want to look at this section right over here. You want to make sure that the temple is lined up sensibly with the side of the crown. Assuming that you're going to be using the crown in the design. You can eliminate the whole entire crown if you want to. That would be using the clone stamp tool and sort of erasing the crown, but that's another step, that's another pro part of the project. So I'm just lining this up. You also want to cover up the king's face. If you slide it over here, you can see that the king's face is exposed. You want to slide it over so the king's face is covered. That looks pretty good. His hair sticks out a little bit past the crown, but that's okay because we can probably modify that pretty easily. I'm going to make this layer totally invisible now because I want to work solely with the line of the crown. I am going to select the crown, the line right here. I'm going to go around the crown kind of largely, but everything's going to be up like this, and everything I'm selecting right now is going to be deleted from Harry Potter's face, but I needed to see this line in order to get it right. If I hit delete, it doesn't look like too much happened, but if I raise the opacity of the face, you can see that it deleted it. it deleted it pretty cleanly. Right. Let me get this back open. I'm sorry. So you can see that it was selected pretty well. And right here it looks pretty good. It looks as though he might be wearing the hat or the crown. You can use the eraser tool. I'm not a big fan of the eraser tool, but it's good when you have these big bits and you can get a little sloppy. You don't have to be totally neat. You can get rid of these things that doesn't really matter if you get exact. Once you start getting close to the face, that's when the eraser tool starts to get a little tricky. So you want to keep an eye on that. So you can use various tools in order to now get rid of all that background that we weren't dealing with before. I like to get really close to my image. There's times that there's such a nice difference between the face and it has a nice smooth side here. In other words, the background's nice and smooth. So if you use what they call the magic wand tool, the magic wand will select the same tone, the same color. So that worked out pretty good. It makes a quick selection for you because the color is very, very similar. Got to keep an eye on it because if you notice, it's kind of a choppy-ish sort of line. But if you went with the polygon lasso tool, you would have a bit of a smoother line. I'll just show you by doing this little section right here. You can see the line is quite, quite smoother. I like to use the polygon lasso, no, wrong one. I like to use the selection brush tool as well for this stage instead of using the eraser tool because it allows you to make a selection. If you make too much of a selection here, you can always go back and up on top here subtract from selection and neaten it up a little bit. So it's a good tool. So you're just going to keep going. Now on the other side we, we might have another set of issues. Sorry about that. So right in here I'm having some difficulty because I might be losing some of the hair. 
might be cropping the hair pretty severely and losing a lot of the side of his head. So it may be that I need to go back and fix it up, but what I might do is try to taper it down like this. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. It just kind of smushes down his hair. So I'm going to trim up this area over here. And you can jump around from tool to tool. You don't have to stay with the same tool all the time. Now down here, I'm going to get rid of the collar because I don't think we're going to end up using it. But we're going to have to do some modifications when we get to the collar. jump over and grab the eraser to erase some of the bits that oh, that was a little risky yeah. so far so good it's not too bad at all okay the next step I'm going to show you is how to do the finishing touches how to neaten up this uh, the, the collar and get rid of some of the edges over here